There are three current Alabama starters in the NFL at the quarterback position. We got Mac Jones with the New England Patriots. I knew you were going to say him first. We have Jalen Hurts with the Philadelphia Eagles and Tua <laughs> Tagovailoa with the Miami Dolphins. Which one do you think is going to be the best? And also list them out. You know, name them one through three. Who's going to be the best? Who's going to be the worst? I'll start with you. You know, are you going with your guy Jalen Hurts <laughs> on Philadelphia or who are you going with? I think looking at it right now, we can all agree, like, before the season even starts, Mac Jones has the best intangibles. He's the best leader out of the three. I think we can all agree to that. I think in terms of pocket passing, Mac Jones is the best at the moment. But Hurts is the best runner out of the three. I think we can all give me that. But, you know, I think a lot of QB success is predicated on the team. This is a very much – this is not the NBA. This is very much a team sport. And – Jalen Hurts, automatically I rule him out because his team isn't good. You know, he has the worst team out the bunch. And I think Tua, you know, before the injury, Tua was projected to be one of the best quarterbacks in the country. He was projected to be a top five pick. He was on a roll at Alabama, you know. He got hurt, missed damn near probably a year, came in, you know, football, Miami. They just threw him in. He started playing, kind of just threw him in. He didn't have a training camp. He was hurt. So I think this year with the training camp, you know, he had preseason. He had training camp to really figure things out. He has a, a coach who really now understands. He believes him in a little bit. I think if I had to go do the lineup, I'm going to go Mac 1, 2-2, two two, Jalen Hurts 3. I think Mac just with Bill Belichick in the New England system with the weapons they got, if they stay healthy, I think he's going to – do good even if he doesn't do good this year I'm I'm I can pretty much gamble that he's gonna have a pretty bright future with Bill Belichick and the New England Patriots and then Tua you know with that offense getting better they have young talent Brian Flores is a good coach Miami's a really good up-and-coming team I think he'll be good I think Jalen Hurts you know he's a he's all right but it's just the team right now isn't constructed as well as the other two guys so that's my list right now I have a question is this solely off of this upcoming season or future purposes who do you think is going to be better? Period. Yes. Period. Because if we're talking strictly this season, I have a firm list. But if we're talking who's going to be better as a whole. That's my list in life. I'm going to go Tua, Mac, and I'm going to go Jalen Hurts. Off this season, though, I do believe it's going to be Tua, Jalen, and Mac last. Now, Tua is interesting to me because Tua came back last season from a broken femur. Now, if you guys don't know what that is, that's the largest bone in your body, Thank you. and he snapped it in half. I didn't know that. So prior to that, he had a QB rating or some, I think it's whatever their, their metric is in, in college. It's passing efficiency rating. It was 206.9. Now, that was in nine games. He threw 33 touchdowns, three interceptions. Now, you look at Max last season, this past season. Oh, he had a rating of 203. He threw 41 touchdowns. He had 4,500 yards. Incredible. Incredible. I will not give him, <laughs> I will not knock him for that. But in nine games, two had 33 touchdowns, 10 less. And Mac had played, he had played four more games than he did. Now, next season comes for Tua. He, he rushes back from this injury. He still plays, still has a winning record, but he didn't, he didn't wow anyone. Clearly, you are completely down on him. You don't think Tua is going to be good. Now, this upcoming season, we're going to see Tua at his at his best. He's got a full training camp. He's fully healthy. He's got a good team around him. Offensive line could be better, but I'm not going to hold that against him. I still think that he's going to be able to roll outside the pocket because that's what he was missing last year. He didn't trust his legs yet. And he was it was forcing himself to make bad throws, especially with the O-line that the Dolphins have. It wasn't an ideal situation for him. Now he's fully healthy. Now he's got better weapons around him. Now he's going to be making these throws that we were expecting him to make last season. Tua was coming in as being one of the most accurate quarterbacks we've seen a prospect be over the last few years. I do believe that's going to continue. I believe Mac Jones is going to be the second best. But this upcoming season, who is he throwing to really? Would I, do I trust Nelson Aguilar and Kendrick Bourne over Devonta Smith and Jalen Rieger, Zach Ertz? Guys who haven't played much yet. Devonta Smith's going to be a superstar in this league. In year one? Jalen Rieger's breaking out this season. You sure about that? I, he's breaking out this season. 
And Zach Ertz is a top tight end in this league, but obviously he's not what he once was. Just said Dallas. The Eagles' offensive line is is healthy this season, healthier this season. And I think that's going to benefit Jalen Hurts on top of his ability to scramble. That's why this upcoming season I project Jalen Hurts to be better than Mac Jones. I just don't think this year Mac Jones is going to show us what he's going to be in the future, which I do believe is going to be a very talented quarterback. I just believe Tua is better than he is. Ooh. So your list is Tua, Mac, Hurts, long-term. For long-term, yes, for sure. With this season, it's Tua, Hurts, Mac. Yeah. <laughs> so <You> giggled. <laughs> this is a... It's not that I don't think Tua is going to be good, but is he going to be a superstar? I don't know. Uh, you said you don't think Tua is a starting quarterback in this league. I never said that. I said I think he's Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy is not about to be a starter, so. But he's. I think he's a starter in this league, and I, I've said that I think Tua's Jimmy. Jimmy G. That's not bad. That's still a good quarterback. Ah, <sighs> you know, you you talk about Tua and his winning record and all that stuff. You know, that's all cute. That's all nice, but. <laughs> Tua won a game where he threw for 93 yards. Mm. Was that really him winning the game? I don't know. It sounds like the team bailed him out in that one. He had another game where he won and he threw for 94 yards. Mm. You know, am I going to give him the credit for that win? Uh, I don't know. I, I'll think about it too. He's He got benched how many times? I think he got benched two, three times in his rookie season. And by the way, Brian Flores managed that situation horribly. Terribly. But I will say, you know, when Brian, Brian Flores is a stand-up guy, you know, if he sees that you're not playing well, you're not playing well. I don't think Tua's injury had much to do with him not being so great last year. I think it had more to do with Chan, Chan Gailey and his offensive playbook because Chan Gailey was interviewed, and he came out and said it. He said, I was surprised when Brian Flores named Tua the starter because – this offense was designed around Ryan Fitzpatrick. Tua didn't have an offseason or training camp to get ready, and we just slotted him in. So basically, it was two different playbooks. The, the, the playbook was limited for Tua because he's not the quarterback Fitzpatrick is in terms of their play styles. So that's why I think Tua struggled. Tua's first five starts in the NFL, 178 yards per game passing. He's not throwing for much. You know, they're not asking to do much. He had seven touchdowns, zero interceptions, 98 quarterback rating, 61% completion percentage, and 6.3 yards per attempt. Solid. That's solid. Two was last four starts mm. through 229 yards per game, four touchdowns, five interceptions, 79.7 quarterback rating, 68% completion percentage, and 4.9 yards per attempt. Tua had the lowest yards per attempt by far in the NFL this past season. He does. He's not a gunslinger, and he's a very safe and uh, accurate quarterback. But can you really say accurate when he's only throwing two-yard passes? I don't really think so. I think, you know, it's most of the scheme. When we're ranking these guys, it's, it's simple for me, really. <laughs> Mac Jones is undoubtedly going to be the best quarterback out of this bunch. He has the best arm. He he is the most accurate. He is the most comfortable in reading defenses. He is the most efficient. And I think he also senses pressure better than these guys. Maybe not Hurts, but definitely better than Tua. I think Mac Jones is truly going to be God's gift to the New England oh Patriots. That's how good he is. <laughs> Mac and Cheese, Mac Jones, highest completion percentage in college football history and best quarterback rating in college football history as well. Also, you talk about Tua's season with Alabama versus Mac Jones. Mac Jones had the better season, and he had less talent than Tua as well. Tua had more talent, and they actually opened up the playbook for Mac Jones because he can make more throws than Tua. Second is Jalen Hurts. Mm. It's simple for me because when I see Jalen Hurts, I see a guy who has insane leadership ability who can move out the pocket and is extremely mobile who has a very good underrated arm and I think Philadelphia is going to be better than what people expect having Devontae Smith having Zach Ertz having Miles Sanders that offensive line is still going to be good it's not going anywhere why do I keep saying Zach Ertz because Zach Ertz is going to be good he's and now starting, that he's got though. no he is no him and Goddard are still going to not playing a two tight end system 
playing one, and Dallas is starting. That's why I be why y'all not saying Dallas. Dallas. Well, Dallas Goddard is good too. Tough. Regardless, and I, you know, you know, I was high on Jalen Rager pre-draft, and I right. think he's gonna have a, a better season than he did his rookie season. Even though it's not saying yeah, much, I not. think Rager <laughs> is gonna be good. I think Hope Jalen so, Hurts man. is getting slept on, and I think he's gonna be good for Philadelphia. And then third is Tua. Miami, they're going to be a a, a team that is assembled great. But the one thing that's always going to be missing for them is having that franchise-changing quarterback. Do I think Hurts is that? No. Do I think Mac Jones is that? Absolutely. So when I'm ranking these three, I have Mac Jones, Jalen Hurts, and Tua Tagovailoa. I see franchise quarterback in Mac Jones. I don't see it in Hurts, and I don't see it in Tua. Why do you keep throwing the whole he had 94 yards thing up? Who? For Tua. Cause I remember very this is this is this is early in the show, right? I remember this so vividly too. It's like in the back of my mind. Ryan Tannehill went into the playoffs, right? And I remember Derrick Henry was carrying them. You know, he was throwing ninety yards, seventy five yards, nothing crazy. You know, he was just being a game manager, letting Derrick Henry run wild. And he came up on the podcast. He said Ryan Tannehill did his job. He was just being a game manager. He's being a game manager. So now when Tua. Who's coming up here? He has 94 yards. I, I don't know the spectrics of the game. But and a rookie. A rookie he's, he's coming doing off yeah, a horrific it's, it's, injury. It's, you want to know what's the difference? It's disrespectful. What, the what's difference with, that? with Ryan Tannehill, they would have never made the playoffs without Ryan Tannehill if he did not take the start. Since Ryan Tannehill has started for the Tennessee Titans, statistically he has been a top seven quarterback in the NFL. That's the difference. That has nothing but to do. He's no, proved it, himself. That's right. yeah, that's it nothing has to nothing do. to do with the situation he's, he's pro- talking about. He's proved himself. I get you tried to do that to set us up no, for no, that. I'm just saying, he's proved himself. Yeah, but that, that's in year, what, 10? I mean. Tua was a rookie. If you want to talk about Ryan Tannehill, his first couple no, years I, in the career. I know. I'm he's, saying. He's been, he was great, too. No, 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 Before no, Tennessee, he was great. Rookie season, he wasn't spectacular. Oh, he, was, yeah. he, had a good, yeah. he had a good career with the Dolphins. NFL was also tough for 10 years ago. 